the Mosasaurus hunts near the surface of the water, utilizing the power of a large paddle-like tail to quickly propel itself, unleashing a sudden attack to fatally incapacitate anything it could sink its teeth into. And that was the species field guide for our first aquatic, the Mosasaurus. Now, this is something I'm really excited for because this is something that hasn't been done before in the first game. Because, you know, of the limitations that the first game had. And it was just, you know, it's really exciting to see aquatic creatures like Mosasaurus, Addenboroughsaurus, Plesiosaurus, and um, Ichthyosaurus coming to the game, you know? It's just something that hasn't been done in the first game. And, you know, it's like... I mean, we've had the pterosaurs in the first game, but it was only Pteranodon, and it was when Return to Jurassic Park came out, and by then, Frontier was just done with Jurassic World Evolution. The game was dead at that point, so, yeah, we didn't really get much on pterosaurs either, so I'm really excited to see the variety of pterosaurs and aquatic creatures that are coming into the game. Now, will there ever be... A part in Jurassic World Evolution where Cenozoic creatures are introduced, you know, like the Mammoth, Smilodon, um, Megatherium, all the, those prehistoric mammals, Paraceratherium, you know, those ones. Or is that something we would have to wait for Jurassic World Evolution 3 to find out on? Well, let me know in the comment section if you want Cenozoic creatures to make it into Jurassic World Evolution 2, even. Or 3 whichever one you decide. But yeah, anyway, without further ado, we're not talking about that, we're talking about the Mosasaurus. Let's get on with the first screenshot. Okay, so here's our first screenshot of the terrifying looking Mosasaurus. You can see its shadow within the depths and all that, and it looks really creepy to be honest with you. And you can see the name of it and how you pronounce its name and that's really cool. I, I actually want one of these in my park. Like, when I get Jurassic World Evolution 2, one of these is going to be in my park. Now, I wonder, can you actually have two Mosasaurs in your park? I mean, I'm sure you could, but I always wondered what it'd be like. Would they get along? Would they fight with each other? I'm, I'm not sure. But yeah, let me know what you think of this screenshot in the comment section down below, and, uh, and yeah, how are they supposed to, I wonder how they're supposed to get along with like ichthyosaurs and plesiosaurs, or if they'll even get along with them. But yeah, without further ado, let's move on to the next screenshot. Here is another screenshot of the Mosasaurus, taken from the, uh, the guest's point of view. As you can see, you've got the two guests sitting there, or standing there, or whatever, and then you've got the Mosasaurus just swimming by them in the tank. Which looks really cool, if I'm going to be honest with you. I really cannot wait to see what they have in store for the aquatics. And I can't wait to see what they have in store for the pterosaurs as well. Now you've got, like, I know, remember how I said in the first Jurassic World Evolution, you had the Pteranodon and that was it? That was the only pterosaur in the game? Well, in this game, you've got Dimorphodon, Tropogonathus, Geosternbergia, and Sierradactylus so far. I hope pterosaurs like Tapajara and Quetzalcoatlus make it into the game at some point, but yeah, let me know what you want in the comment section down below for both pterosaurs and aquatics. In my honest opinion, I kind of want Megalodon, and I want it to be something that can, you know, rival the Mosasaurus. You know, imagine Megalodon in Jurassic World Evolution 2. But seeing how it's a Cenozoic monster... The chances of that happening are, I think, super slim, in my opinion. And maybe for aquatics, I would love to, aside from Megalodon, I'd love to see Ocalon, Dunkleosteus, Ammonite, Kronosaurus, Lyopleurodon. I wonder if they're going to make an appearance in this game. But yeah, let me know what you want in the comment section down below for aquatics as well. But yeah, without further ado, let's move on to the next screenshot. 
Over here we've got another terrifying screenshot of the Mosasaurus in the depths. And if you go to the next scene, it's actually preparing to jump at the shark and take it off of the uh, Mosasaurus feeder. And I saw that in action in the Gaming Beavers video when he had access to Jurassic World Evolution 2 and it was pretty amazing, I'm not gonna lie. So, yeah, let me know if you're excited for that in the comment section down below. I cannot wait to see how that works, you know, where you're, if, to see if I can get, you know, that iconic scene from, where, from Jurassic World where the Mosasaurus takes down the, well, I think it's a Mako shark. I know it's not a great white. It looks too small and thin to be a great white. But yeah, I think it's a Mako shark. Either that or a blue shark. I'm not too sure. But yeah, without further ado, let's move on to the final screenshot. And over here with the final screenshot, we've got the iconic scene where the Mosasaurus jumps out of the water and takes out that shark. And now that I'm looking at the shark, it kind of looks more like a um, great white. So it actually might be a great white. I'm not sure. But yeah, let me know what kind of shark it is in the comment section down below because I'm not too sure. And yeah, the, the water splashing effect looks amazing. It looks really realistic. And the Mosasaurus is just an overall badass aquatic. You know, it's just... It brought down the Indominus Rex in Jurassic World and I... I would love to see more of it in the films, you know, in Jurassic World Dominion and all that. But yeah, let me know what you think of this in the comment section down below, whether or not you think this is cool. And yeah. That is going to have to wrap it up for today's analysis video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. It would really help out a ton. And until next time, I will see you guys in the next video. So long.